everybody, this is Keith from CryptoCoin Mindset. I hope this video finds you well today. I'd like to start out by thanking you for stopping by to watch this video today. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and tick that bell icon so you get notified every time we put out a great video. In today's video, we're going to go over the latest cryptocurrency related news articles on our blog. And as always, the links to those articles are in the description below. So after this video, hit those links and go over to our blog and read the entire article. All right, let's kick this thing off. So we're going to start out with our first news article of the week, which is about the Japanese messaging app Line. Basically, they are positioning themselves to be a leader in the crypto industry. Now, they're not alone. We know that many big name firms have entered the crypto space in 2019, whether it be major companies like Wells Fargo and JP Morgan who are working to develop their own cross-border payment systems and you know their own coins to do cross-border payments or companies such as IBM and Microsoft who have started their own blockchain projects but now Japanese messaging giant line is one of those major companies that's putting their hat in the ring now line was already in the crypto space before this latest move with their first crypto exchange, Bitbox. But now they have recently launched their second crypto exchange called Bitmax. And one of the significant pieces about the launch of Bitmax is that this exchange has obtained approval from the Japanese Financial Services Agency, the FSA. By obtaining approval from the FSA, this puts line at the head of the line, get it? as far as the next wave of fintech approaches and blockchain and cryptocurrencies just start to blossom. The bottom line is any major companies looking to enter into the cryptocurrency space, especially exchanges, cryptocurrency exchanges, they have to deal with the heavy regulation from governments around the world. And that's going to lead us into our second news article for the week. However, before we head over there, tell us what you think about this move by line in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already done so, take a second right now to hit that like button. We really appreciate it. All right, in the second article this week, the UK just ended its consultation on a potential crypto ban. Now, just as we mentioned in this previous article, regulators across the world are looking to make changes in their policies basically to accommodate cryptocurrencies. It's an expanding asset class, so they're still trying to figure out exactly how to deal with it and how to regulate it. I mean, let's face it, it seems like you can't go a single day in the crypto space without the SEC charging someone with uh, something or some country banning cryptocurrency. And in the UK, that's no exception. The UK's Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA, is one of the regulatory bodies that's been on the forefront of efforts to regulate cryptocurrencies. As a matter of fact, we reported in July about the UK's plans to crack down on what they called dirty money. Now, we've referenced a lot of our own articles here, so uh, the links to those will be in the description below as well, so make sure you check those out. But continuing on about the FCA, basically they just closed their consultations on a potential crypto derivatives ban. Basically, the regulator has made it pretty clear that uh, their view about many people engaging in trading in the crypto derivatives market is bad because they don't have all the information about the risks that are associated with the digital asset class. So now the FCA is considering a move to impose a ban on the offering of crypto derivatives to retail investors. They estimate the FCA that between 2017 and 2018, crypto traders in the UK lost more than a half a billion dollars in crypto related businesses. Now, some of these traders lost funds due to a lack of knowledge of the trading market, and obviously others fell victim to various scams within the crypto space. So that's what's prompting these moves by the FCA. But would a blanket ban on crypto derivatives in the UK actually help people? Well, it could have adverse effects on the crypto industry within the UK. One industry leader and fintech legal expert said that the blanket ban would be a knee-jerk reaction 
and it would probably push investors to put their funds into the digital assets themselves instead of products such as crypto derivatives. So what do you think about this move by the FCA? Are you a resident of the UK? Could you potentially be affected by this ban on cryptocurrencies? Make sure you tell us in the comments below. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this week's crypto news recap. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and share it with somebody who might also get some benefit from it. And once again, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tick that bell icon so you get notified every time we put out a great video. We'd like to thank you again for stopping by and visiting us here at CryptoCoin Mindset. We'll talk to you again soon and take care.